Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We got a new video and we're checking out some new equipment. Just arrived yesterday. I'm so, so, so stoked. Oh my God. I know, typical YouTuber intro, but I am really excited today. The, uh, the equipment that arrived has been on back order for months. It's out here. Let's go grab it. We're gonna bring it in the studio and I'll show you what we're gonna be using to live stream drums on Twitch. Something I've never done before. And I've been watching these types of streams for a really long time. Shouts to Seth Drums. One of my favorite Twitch drummers. I want to try it out. See if you guys enjoy it. We'll have some fun. Every Monday, I think, is what the date's going to be. I don't know. I am in way too deep with this intro, so let's just go check it out. Two boxes. This is a mixer. That's a snake. All right, now to grab the second. Before we go any further, I got to leave a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video, Sweetwater Sound. Sweetwater Sound, the only place that I personally go when shopping for music equipment of any kind. I say this for two reasons. Number one, they have the best customer service in the game. 24 hour customer support when I need assistance with a product or I need help cashing in a warranty. And number two, they typically have the lowest price. You can find a direct link to my personal artist page on Sweetwater.com in the description of this video and you can check out every piece of equipment that I've ever purchased at Sweetwater that I use to make these videos possible. Can you see this okay? Maybe come on down here. Do we have scissors in here? Yeah, actually. Oh, that was ridiculous. Don't unbox expensive toys that way at home. Got a little mangled. So that's what we got. Pro FX 22 V3. So the 22 is definitely gonna be for 22 channels. There's the actual mixer there. I say that's the actual mixer, but that's the box. I like this man running or dancing. I think he's, I think he's dancing. I think he's dancing because he's so happy about his mixer, just like you. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> Where's the uh, scissors? Oh, right here. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, come here. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, which is good, because Lindsay and I were kind of grappling with where to put it. Oh, look, 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 look at the box. <gasps> oh my gosh. Sweetwater Kitty! Because we're Canadian and we order from Sweetwater, it's the cheapest, which you heard about in that ad a minute ago. The equipment arrives at the border. Customs will open up the equipment to get an idea of what's inside so that they can bill us duties for crossing the border. So when that happens, almost 100% of the time, they'll take the candy. And Lindsay loves the Sweetwater candy. Because back in the day, I could actually just drive over and get it before COVID. So we used to always get the Sweetwater candy, but somehow they let this one slide. Power cable and USB. I don't know what the USB is for. We're going to take a look. Get a load of that. Damn. Damn, boy, he fit. Kick in, kick out, snare top, snare top two, snare bottom, rack floor. Hi hat, left crash, center crash, right crash, China, overhead left, overhead right, rim out, talk back, Lindsay's talk back. All channels are accounted for. Should we plug it in? No, open the second box first. Oh, right, right, right. right. Okay. Yeah, open this one so it's not in our way, too. Okay, okay. Where do you want your candy, my dear? Ooh, I don't know. Put it somewhere good. Okay. I'll put it on your side of the bed. Put it on my pillow, like a hotel. Okay. Oh. Keep this card, record and produce like a pro. What's this for? Oh, a DAW. Waveform OEM. Huh. Yo, look at this. Dude, my mom would love that. So before this video, I was kind of explaining to Lindsay what a snake is. Is that what you were picturing? Uh, basically. I kind of thought... It'd be bigger? I thought that the main cable that has all of them in it would be really, really <laughs> chunky. Like, even chunkier than that. Yeah, we just got like a little baby version because we're just doing a drum set to a mixer. So like I said earlier in the video, for a very long time, I've really wanted to... We actually even did one, right? Yeah, we did one live drum stream. What we found was like the equipment that we were using just, we had a tough time. Because this space is mostly intended for filming drum covers or recording, it was so much work to change everything, all of the routing in the room to be set up for a drum stream in the moment of it. And I want this to be like a regular thing. So instead of setting up the room just for streaming, which we can't do because we're also producing videos out of the space, uh, now we have the equipment to just leave set up for good and then every, time we stream, which like I said earlier, is looking like it's gonna be every Monday. So make sure you're subscribed to my Twitch channel to know when we start doing this. Moment of truth, one light's gonna turn on. 
Ah. Oh. Where are the outputs? Let's look at the back. So there we have the main outs and USB. I don't know what the USB pairing is gonna look like for us. I was planning on just going main outs into an interface. So we'll do all the mixing in this and then it'll just come out the back of this into a little compact two channel for right and left. And then that will go stereo right and left into Streamlabs for um, the actual streaming. I honestly didn't do a ton of research as to what other people are using equipment-wise for streaming on Twitch when you, we're talking about a full drum set. I know a lot of guys who stream on Twitch will do it with e-kits, which we have an e-kit, and I guess I could have been doing it on that the whole time, because then you don't even really need this. I don't know, there's something magical about like a full drum set in comparison to just pads, right? I do believe that Seth is using a uh, Behringer 18 KV or whatever, which is a digital mixer. I actually have the 16 channel version of that behind me, but that's routed right now for the drum covers. We're gonna go with the Pro FX 22, V3 by Mackie. I'm no audio pro. I'll preface every video with that. But currently the kit is mic'd up and all these XLRs are running to these two interfaces in the Logic, which is where we, we track into for YouTube. What I think we'll do now, just take the snake essentially and put it beside the interface. When we want to record drums for a cover, we'll go all the XLRs into the interfaces like they are currently set up. And then every Monday, I'll have this mixer set up, all the knobs in place, so that all I really gotta do is pull the 16 channels out of the two interfaces, plug them into the snake, and then the snake can go anywhere in the room. Although I have the mixer right behind me on this table right now, this table is not gonna stay in this room. We need something smaller, this is way too big. So we'll decide where the mixer is gonna be placed. I'll run this panel to the interface, and then we'll pull all the cables out of the interface, and as we do, we'll just go one into one, two into two, three into three, and then that way, every Monday, all I really have to do is unplug the recording setup and plug it in for the streaming setup, which will run into this, and then we'll have the outputs out of this into a small little interface, which we can attach to probably Lindsay's laptop, because I imagine it's way more powerful than that iMac. I think the stream will be way more stable. So that in theory is what I'm going with for streaming. Uh, hopefully it works out. I'm also gonna hit up Chris Gazelle and get him uh, on like a Discord call, I think. And in Discord, what I can do is I'll set the interface up as the input so that he can hear it as if I'm streaming onto Twitch, I guess. That's the same idea. And then I can help have him help me because obviously Chris is like a pro in live sound and I don't really know a ton about sound outside of just being able to get like the videos that you guys see. Like I know just enough to be able to do what I do on YouTube and then anything past that I never really got into. I suppose I should take more time at it, but I guess like my free time these days really is like trying to learn other instruments and learn to songwrite more so than really caring a ton about the technical side. But anyways, with all of that said, if you have any suggestions as to the signal flow I just described, or if you can think of anything that I'm missing, feel free to comment down below. I'll definitely check out the comments and see if you guys have any advice for me that I could put to use in the space. Massive, massive thank you to the incredible sponsor of this video, Sweetwater Sound, the only place I ever shop for music equipment. As I said in the beginning of this video, you can go and check out the artist page and see all of the stuff that I've purchased off of Sweetwater over over the years that I use to create these videos and I use for recording. Thank you so much to my Patreon family for making all of my videos possible and uh, I'll see you guys all very soon with something new.